Hey guys, it's Laura. I have these two cactus here, one that's sick and one that's growing in the wrong direction. I'm going to fix them today and I thought I'd show you how I'm going to do it. These are the things I'm going to use today. A pair of good gloves, a pair of tweezers, a knife that has been disinfected in a uh, bleach water solution. It's one part bleach to nine parts water. I'm going to let that set out here to dry and then a saucer. Let's work on this sick cactus first. You can see that this cactus has been watered too much and it's beginning to rot. So what it has done is it shoots out a bunch of these little babies all the way around it to try to perpetuate its life. What we're going to do today is we're going to cut these babies off so that we can prepare them and root them and they'll grow into a nice cactus. To do this, you'll need your sharp knife. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to find a spot to grab on to the cactus, get a good grip on some of its spines. I'm gonna get in there with my knife and I'm just gonna make a straight cut. And then I'll use my tweezers to grab that baby off and I'll just set him aside for now. We'll continue to do this with all of these babies. I was able to get 18 little babies off of this one cactus. You can see them all right here. The next step is to lay them all aside. You'll want to put them on a window seal in a cool house and a bright room. And you'll want to let them dry for a couple of days. This is the most important step. You'll want this cut to heal over completely before you plant it. Otherwise, they can rot fairly easily. Now with this cactus, there's nothing really wrong with it other than it's growing in a direction that I don't want it to grow. So we're gonna give it a serious reality check. What we'll do is we'll just put the knife right in and gently cut it off like that. And so you can see that that will be a nice cactus after we've got it healed and rooted. So we'll set this in with our other little cactus and we'll take them in to hang out on the windowsill for a few days and then I'll show you the next step. Hey guys, we're back. It's been five days and our cactus have formed a nice callus. You can tell it's formed a good callus because there's no moisture left down here. It's real dry, so it is ready to root. There's really not a whole lot to this part. All you need are containers and a fast draining cactus soil mix. And what we're gonna do is we're going to take our cactus and we're just gonna create a little well in the soil and just enough to hold our cactus upright. And that's it. We form the well with our fingers and just place the cactus in and just gently tamp the soil in around and we're done. We'll go ahead and do that with all of our little cactus starts too. Just like that. The only thing we have left to do is to water them in. You'll just want to water them till just the soil is moist. The number one reason why some people fail at rooting cactus is because of rot, too much water. So you'll want to make sure that you let the soil thoroughly dry out between waterings. Because these cactus are so young and fragile, we'll go ahead and find a spot inside where they're protected from the full sun so that they won't burn. You wanna check on your new cactus every couple of days and make sure they don't need water. And every two weeks, you can put on your gloves and go in and give them a gentle nudge on the sides. If you feel resistance, then you know they're starting to root. Usually it takes about one to two months for a cactus to start to root, so be patient. Once you know your cactus is rooted, you can either transplant it into a different pot or you can leave it in whatever pot you've rooted it in. We'll post some update pictures on Facebook of these cacti once they've rooted and grown up a bit. Thanks so much for watching the video. See you guys later.